The Electronics Mag 15 is probably one of the nicest laptops I have used. Its magnesium alloy build makes it very lightweight and its black anodized finish is clean looking, it shows no fingerprints and is a perfect fit if you don't want a laptop to scream gamer. Now I received the Mag 15 as soon as it came out and as with many new launches there are a few teething problems. The speakers were very quiet, the integrated microphone was, was very poor and from a gaming perspective the balance mode had the GPU capped at 645 MHz and the Intel BIOS capped the GPU to throttle at 75 degrees Celsius which would make the GPU clock speed throttle down. The CPU is set to throttle at 90 degrees anyway, so you won't see that get too hot. Electronics have since updated the laptop and most of the issues have been addressed, making a good laptop even better. On their website, first update the BIOS. They have good instructions on how to do this. For the control center, make sure you delete the OEM folder in the program files. Now install the Intel Smart Sound technology and also the Sound Blaster update. Now one thing you will notice is that with the new BIOS, the CPU has a negative 0.05 millivolt undervolt, so it is worth updating for this alone. The gaming mode replaces the previous balance mode and retains the same power limits of a PL1 of 45 watts and PL2 of 65 watts. Electro boost mode remains the same and the max performance mode is now called benchmark mode. Both have a long term power and short term power uh, remain at 65 watts and 100 watts respectively. These modes are supposed to also increase my 2070 max Q from 80 watts to 90 watts. In electro boost mode, you can still choose standard or performance fan whilst benchmark mode maxes the fan out. The Sound Blaster Connect app makes a huge difference in audio quality. It gives you great control on equalizer settings and allows a loud mode if you like max audio. And indeed, the speakers sound awesome now, better than most 15 inch laptops to be honest. Here is a comparison between before and after the update. Here's a webcam. Actually, it looks pretty decent. Good, good, good color. Prior to the update, the microphone and the laptop was terrible, really quiet, and I think it's much improved now. But as for gaming, the main improvement is now the balanced or gaming mode is a great option. Gone is that 645 MHz GPU limit, and as you can see here in Battlefield 5 using DX11 Ultra settings. Before the update, we averaged 53 FPS, nearly half of what is possible after the update. The CPU hangs around this 45 watt mark and 3500 MHz. With a standard fan, it runs at about 83 degrees. The GPU now boosts up to about 1200 MHz, but of course it is still limited by that 75 degree cap. When we use the ASUS Tweak app, this uh, raises the limit to the standard NVIDIA spec of 87 degrees, and using performance fan, the GPU clock does go up a bit higher, giving a slight increase in frame rate. Electro boost and benchmark modes remain very close in performance as you would expect and in, and in my opinion you might as well just use the electro boost mode because you do have the option of fan control. The new updates make very little difference here. Comparing benchmark mode with, uh, with and without the ASUS tweak you will notice that since the GPU can now go above the 75 degree limit the power to the CPU drops from 65 watts to about 50 watts. This wattage drop and consequent clock drop will depend on the game you are playing, but it does allow for a huge increase in GPU clock rate, so from the most games you will see a better frame rate. With the max fans, the CPU can hit that 90 degree limit, and even the GPU can hit 87 degree mark. So we are at the limit of what cooling the system can offer, and remember, this has liquid metal on the CPU and cooler master gel on the GPU. To lower temperatures further, you will need to either undervolt or lower the PL1 value or downclock the CPU a bit. Now you may recall that when I connected the Mag15 to an eGPU, I was only getting 1660 Ti performance from the, my desktop 2080, and unfortunately that remains the case now. So is the update worthwhile? Definitely, you get much better audio and uh, the balance mode now offers a good option for playing with standard fan with decent frame rates and good thermals. I must say this Mag15 is now one of the best laptops I have tried. 
If it had G-Sync and a MUX switch so I could manually switch to the Intel GPU, that would be icing on the cake. It's lightweight, has long battery life, and looks neat and tidy too. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.